Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. <laughs> So as you guys can see by the title of the video and I really don't know how I want to format this but I just knew that I wanted to do like day in the life of assistant buyer vlogs. Um, so yes, I am an assistant buyer. <laughs> um, like a little background on me if you guys don't know like OG subscribers know new subscribers probably don't but um i went to the university of maryland eastern shore and i studied fashion merchandising and then i went to um the fashion institute of technology in new york city where i study advertising and marketing communication so i have a fashion degree and a marketing degree so i'm currently putting my fashion degree to use and i am an assistant buyer at ashley stewart i am um the assistant buyer for denim activewear and outerwear so that's super cool love denim love of, um active wear and it's cold as hell in new jersey so out of wear is essential <laughs> but um yeah i just decided to document my journey i literally just became an assistant buyer back in october so it's only been two going on three months and so far i love it so far it's super cool super exciting i love my company ashley stewart is definitely a great place to work and i just wanted to show other girls who are into fashion merchandising or want to become a buyer in the future i know like when i was in school there were a lot of vlogs on like dental hygienists or like different di other different fields a lot of nursing majors a lot of nursing majors were doing vlogs a lot of like pre-med doctor majors were do were doing vlogs and i didn't see not one assistant buyer vlog like literally not one there are like a few assistant buyer interview question videos on youtube those are like basically from burlington um burlington is actually a company that i did um apply to work for as an assistant buyer but glad i didn't get it we'll we'll get into that in another video for another day but um so yeah like those are literally the only videos that you find on youtube so now you guys will be finding my uh day in the life of an assistant vlog of an assistant buyer vlogs on youtube so you guys can watch it and kind of get a glimpse of what you'll be getting into as an assistant buyer now every assistant buyer um job is different because every company is different even um within my company there's only seven buyers but um and each buyer has an assistant buyer but each assistant buyer's experience is different with their buyers because every buyer is different every buyer buys different things and every buyer is just a different person so like you know they go through the purchasing process and just like daily corporate life differently so my experience is not the same experience as any of the other girls in my office it's very unique to me and i'm sharing that with you guys so yeah
so basically i just showed you guys wait let me start driving i'm on my lunch break but i'm getting panera y'all but basically what i showed you guys in the earlier clips was um just basically like my morning routine when i get into the office so when i get in the first thing i do is you know take off my coat get comfortable put my bag up i wipe down my desk every single day wipe down my computer wipe down my mouse just because i don't know like when, I, when i'm going i don't like you know the cleaning people come and they clean but you can never be too cautious like literally you can never be too cautious i don't know if somebody might come by my desk and drop a sample off and probably sneeze or something you just never know so that's why i always just sanitize my area then y'all saw me go through emails now i was out for five days straight i had a five day vacation last week so me going through emails took about an hour for me to do it was that many emails and i have to like categorize my e well i categorize my emails so that i can remember or like i can be able to find them quickly when it's time to refer back to them and like take little notes mental notes and also physical notes of the things that i missed while i was gone sometimes some samples or some um products might be coming into our warehouse later and you know those were the emails that were sent to me or sometimes some things are earlier sometimes there's shortages on some things um different comments from our technical design team just everything i was just going through all the emails um then you saw me go pick up the mail so our mail guy well he's not like a mail guy i really don't know how to explain what his job description is but he opens the mail for us for all the assistants he hangs up our samples and everything so he's out he's on vacation this week so it's my job to go through all these samples for me and the dresses buyer because her assistant my friend soraya shout out to her she's out as well this week so yeah <laughs> so i just like went through um the samples that we all had i hung them up took pictures to send to my buyer and i took pictures to send to soraya's buyer and then i did what i need to do with them i put them in their designated areas i can't show you guys too much of that stuff just because these are samples that have not yet hit the stores and you know just for like confidentiality purposes i'm not trying to lose my job because if I lose my job, then I won't be able to come to y'all with these vlogs. But, yeah. So, um, then you guys saw me sitting through some meetings, um, taking notes, everyday stuff. Y'all saw me writing some reports, which is super important when you're a buyer because the numbers are important. You need to know what is selling and what is not selling. You need to know what is in the D.C., the distri distribution center, center, and what is not. You need to know what has hit the stores yet and what hasn't. So, there's a lot of reports um, a lot of numbers sometimes um, since I'm still new sometimes it does get a little confusing and sometimes I'm looking at these reports like what the heck am I looking at but practice definitely does make perfect when you keep seeing the same reports it over and over again it starts to register in your head um, now I'm going to lunch so that's just a little just a little spiel I can't really talk to you guys in the office because it's super quiet so like you know it's kind of awkward if I'm just talking to my camera in the office so that's why I'm giving you guys the recap now can I get over I ain't even peeked that this was my turn because I'm sitting here talking to y'all but yeah I'm going to Panera where I work there's a whole lot of like really good food places and lately Panera has been my favorite for um lunch at work I love to get their chicken soup with in the break bowl so i love that i don't know like every single day at work if i don't bring my own work i crave that red bull I, i'm a weirdo and i'm the type of person that if i eat something like once i like something i can eat it all the time so i probably get this bread bowl like two three times a week which is bad because i need to like go to the other restaurants and explore and stuff and pack lunch and save money that's what i need to do but it's all right. We're going to get our food. And I'll I'll check back with y'all once I get to Panera. <laughs> all right, y'all. We got our lunch. And now we're heading back to the office. 
It is so freaking cold outside. I know y'all like, well, if it's so cold, we can hat, gloves, and scarf. Girl, it's Monday morning, and I was rushing out the house. Like, I literally, I, I'm supposed to wake up at 7, because I have to be to work by 8.30. So, I'm supposed to wake up at 7. My job is about 25 minutes away from my house. So, I usually leave out the house uh, by 7.50. Your girl ain't get out the bed until 7.30. That left me 20 minutes to be, like, walking out the house. But I didn't walk out the house until 8 o'clock. So, 10 minutes behind schedule. However, um, all the kids are still on winter break. So, it was literally no traffic. I got to work in no time. I got to work um, 5 minutes before 8.30. Was able to get into the building and clock in exactly at 8.30 on the dot. So, yeah. Your girl. I was just tired. Because I told y'all, um... I was on vacation last week, so I, I had a fi I had two five day vacations. So last week I had a five day vacation, and the week before that I had a five day vacation. And when I say five day vacation, it was really I took off three of those days. But um, Saturday and Sunday, the buyers and like some of the other team, or like you know some of the other uh, departments. They still work Saturdays and Sundays. So, like, you know, and the, the business is still going. The stores are open seven days a week. So, um, you know, I'm still always getting emails and stuff. So, like, you know, emails that I'm missing because I'm out of work, basically. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. But, yeah, I, I was gone five days. So, my sleep schedule, everything was off. So, when I woke up, I was like, yeah, I kept saying 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. And before I knew it, it was 7.30. And yeah. Oh, and also sometimes I do work from home. Very rarely though. Like I said, all of the buyers are very, very different in how they do things, especially with COVID. Um, but when COVID hit, I know at my company they told me that the buyers and the assistant buyers are technically like essential workers because we still have to buy the products to get them out to the store. We still have to con contact the vendors. We still have to fit our samples. Like some companies don't fit their samples, like Burlington or Ross. I used to work at Ross. So like a Burlington or a Ross or a TJ Maxx, they just get um discounted designer or like brand name products that they didn't sell the season before and they sell them in their stores. So they don't have to fit anything, but we fit all of our inventory and stuff just so that it's perfect for our customer because she is a plus size woman so we want her to feel cute and comfortable in all her clothes and look good so when the pandemic hit of course everybody was working from home even i was working from home when i was working at ross but um they like it's kind of like a hybrid schedule like the buyers and their assistants or i guess just the buyers choose if they want to come into the office so i know there's like two buyers there's one buyer she lives all the way in miami and she comes in very rarely and then there's another buyer who lives in new york and she probably comes in twice a week and my buyer however we come in monday through friday monday through friday we're here unless it's snowing or unless we have like a light day and it's like okay we could just work from home but we are in the office every single day just because it's easier for us to be in the office we have a lot of samples we're, like all the all the products, everything we have to work on is in the office, and it's kind of hard when you're at home to like be like, okay, well, I can't do this. I have to leave it off until tomorrow when I'm in the office. So we just get the work done and go home. So yeah, but y'all know, I'm already on my way back. I'm literally right around the corner. Panera is like five minutes away. Not even five. Well, yeah, five minutes. I've been talking for like five minutes. Told me I go off. But, yeah, hopefully this vlog isn't too long because I don't like making long vlogs anymore. Um, hopefully it's like, you know, straight to the point because who is editing all of this? Like, I just, I can't. I just cannot. But I will check back in with you guys once I get back into the office. <laughs>
about to get ugly. 